Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today in this video I've got a really nice product to show you all. This is Kodak's new budget friendly tripod. Kodak has recently launched some very budget friendly tripods ranging from 1100 to 1500 rupees in India and in this video we're gonna check them out. So this is Kodak's new T212 budget tripod that comes with some nice features like it's got a 3 section height adjustment, has a max payload of 3.5 kgs and supports 3 way pan movements. It's a super lightweight tripod and I'm quite excited to show it to you all. So we've got some of its features over here, let me show you. It's got a max height of 157cm, has 3 way pan movements and supports 3 section height adjustment. So those were some of its highlights. It's mainly a compact and lightweight tripod made specially for traveling and outdoor use. The weight of this product is around 1.21 kgs and supports a max payload of up to 3.5 kgs. So those are all of its features. Now let's get started with the unboxing. I wanna thank Kodak for sending me this product for review. Alright let's open it and see what do we have inside. So looks like the tripod comes in this sort of carry case. It's a decent quality bag. You can easily carry the tripod in it wherever you go. You've got the Kodak branding on it and also has an adjustable shoulder strap over here. Ok so that was about the bag. Now let me just open the zip and take the tripod out. So the tripod comes nicely packed in this car. Let me take it out. Here it is guys, this is how the new T212 budget tripod from Kodak looks like. It comes in full black color in matte finishing and looks pretty good from my first impression. The tripod legs are made of aluminum and you've got the T212 branding on it. And also there's some sort of tag attached to it. Oh, okay, we've got some of its details. Alright, so what I'll do now is, I'll just go out and show you all of its features and functions. So here it is guys, our brand new budget tripod. The first thing I'd like to mention about it is, it's got a special handle at the side so you can easily hold it while carrying. I really like that feature. Now let me just expand the tripod and show you. It has a pole at the center with a knob attached to all three of its legs. It's actually very compact and made for use with both smartphones as well as cameras. Talking about the build quality, the build quality is very good for the price. The legs are entirely made of aluminum while the remaining parts are made of high quality plastic. And I can definitely say it doesn't look cheap from any angle. Coming to the top part, it's got a quick release plate so you can easily fix your cameras or even smartphones with the help of some holders. The lock mechanism is simple and works well. So at the top over here you've got a bubble level to check if your camera is parallel to the ground. Also guys this plate at the top can be lifted like this to shoot even in vertical mode. You've got a knob for that over here and using this knob you can lock or adjust the pan axis position just like this. I'll tell you about the movements and all that later, first let me show you all the other features. This tripod has one more spirit level indicator over here, there was already one present on its head. Now coming to the tilt movements, you can lock or release the tilt axis using this arm. Just loosen it up, adjust the tilt position and lock it wherever you want. And not only that, there's one more knob at the center using which you can adjust the height of the center column. Just loosen it up like this and rotate this lever on the side to increase the height of the center pole. That is pretty nice. So these are all the different adjustment knobs available on this tripod. There's also one more knob at the center pole which I've already talked about at the beginning. And below that it also has a J hook so you can place some weights on it like your camera bag to make it much more stable and sturdy. The Kodak T212 has a center spreader design where all the three legs are attached to the center column just like most of the other budget tripods. Over here if you can see it's got a buckle type leg lock system. And at the bottom it has these rotatable rubber feet so they'll provide good grip on most of the flat surfaces. So that was our complete overview on this budget tripod. Now let me just extend all of its legs and show you the maximum height of this tripod. Extending the legs on this tripod is super easy, you've got buckle type leg lock system. You just need to release these buckles and the legs will automatically slide out. So the normal height on this tripod without extending the legs is around 62cm. This is the first extension and you can increase the height even further by releasing the second lock on its leg. The max height this tripod can reach is around 157cm which is around 1.57m. So it's almost this tall compared to my body. The tripod does feel sturdy while using but still I would recommend you all to put some weight on that J hook to increase the stability. And guys this is not the end of it. If you want to reach an even further height then you can easily do that by extending the center pole. So now the tripod is nearly as tall as me. And the best part is it's super lightweight, weighs only around 1.21 kgs, so you can easily hold the handle on it and carry it wherever you go. 
The Kodak's T212 tripod was designed to be used for both smartphones as well as DSLRs. Let me attach my phone to it and show you. Now to fix a smartphone on it, you'll definitely need a smartphone holder like a spring type clamp which you need to buy separately. This particular model T212 doesn't come with a free smartphone holder, but its cheaper variant the T210 does come with a free mobile phone holder. There's not much of a difference between both these models, the T212 has a slightly better build quality and has a max height of 160cm, whereas the T210 has only 147cm. So like this you can easily fix your smartphone on it and shoot some great videos on a budget. Along with smartphones you can also use your cameras on it. Let me just fix my camera on the tripod. The T212 supports a max payloads of up to 3.5 kgs. So you can use most of the DSLRs as well as mirrorless cameras on it. I am using my Panasonic Lumix G7 which weighs around 14 grams. The tilting, the panning, all the movements are fine. I had no complaints for that price. Talking about the movements, the movements feel smooth and nice considering the price point. Now guys, this is a budget tripod, so don't expect buttery smooth panning or tilting experience like you would get on tripods with fluid drag heads. For the price what you're paying, it was definitely doing a good job. You can use it for both video shooting as well as taking photos. It's a great multi-purpose tripod on a budget. So that was my video on Kodak's new T212 budget tripod. It's a really good tripod on a budget. The build quality is nice, has a good height range with 3 adjustable sections, supports both smartphones as well as cameras and the best part is the price. The Kodak's T210 costs only 1190 rupees and my T212 variant costs around 1480 rupees. I'll leave links to both of them in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today, thanks for watching, hope you all enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and I'll see you in the next one.